hope that what we should be looking at is probably doing some more automatic aid with the, uh, with the county. And the county would profit from this. We would profit from it that if we were doing automatic aid, as long as it's automatic, as long as someone doesn't have to pick up the radio and say, please send the county to this or get some extra help, those folks count automatically. It's just like they were on staff for us for the day. So the alternative, well, we probably can't add six, eight firefighters per shift per day. The one thing that we probably can do is look at some options of working with the county a bit more, and we could both profit off of improve that number. Kind of surprised us was driver operator training. We've uh, begun working on that just a little bit. Uh, uh, we got about 1.5 out of five points for that, and I really thought that we would have scored better than that. Officer development, that's uh, one that we've taken on. Uh, when I interviewed last year, I put that as one of my priorities, and I think that we, we've uh, got a good start to that. It, we started in January. It started out a little bit slow, but it, the, uh, uh, I think our officers are really warming up to it. And just today, we were talking about ways to increase that to, our, uh, to, to push it down to the lower range. So I think we're on a good start that if they were to come back in three years, that our officer development will get maximum points for that. We, we've already got that. We've got that working. Uh, real quickly, just the takeaways from this, uh, an ISO rating of several agencies, the fire department can't take credit for this. And I can't take credit for this. This is something that, as, as the entire department has done it, these, these are the guys that are doing the training. These are the guys that are doing things that are, doing, that are doing everything different. We can provide them with the resources, but the inspections that are done, they increased our five points. That was done at the company level. All the training is done at the company level. Vehicle maintenance, readiness, hose testing, all this done is done by the, our, our line personnel. There's other people involved, like the plant board and our 911 center. Everyone, every, the 911, the plant board, the fire department, mm -hmm. all three across the board had increased scores by about two or three points. So everyone had almost an equal share across the board of bringing this score up. So it, uh, it's just more than the fire department achieving something here. Um, it took commission support. We can't do it, for example, going back to 2003 or four, uh, Chief Possage uh, worked to get a, a ladder tower. Uh, that ladder tower raised our points by about, in that category, by about three or four percent. They break it down, it's a little hard, but as you look, you'll see that we have a ladder tower in there. And we got a lot of credit for that. And that was something that's taken 10 years to be here. So it takes commission support also. Uh, but we, I would also want you to know that you should not measure a department by ISO, ISO alone. You could, you could buy an ISO rating. You could buy tons of people and train them. And you would have an ISO rated department. There's a whole lot more that goes into a department. It's just but one notch, one, one measurement step to uh, look at what we're doing. We're glad to have that ISO rating. But given a choice, we want to be an effective department as opposed to going to get a class one. There's things we realize that we have to do to, to be a good department aside from ISO. And it's a culture. Again, we, we didn't start working on ISO rating. They called us in October, so we're going to be here in December. You need to be ready for us. This is what you need to have in advance. There was no way that we could be ready for it if we had not been doing what we've been doing for several years. And we've seen a big... Uh, uh, a whole lot of improvement in our training department, uh, our records management, uh, again, ISO from our 911 center and, and, the, and the water department. So that's in a nutshell, really quick. But uh, uh, to the back, I gave the, uh, as you look through, you can see tons of information that was used. I stopped when I got to the water department because it talked a lot about the hydrants themselves. If there's any particular questions about those as you look through that packet, if you choose to look through, I'd be happy to answer anything to the best of my ability. Some of it I may not understand, but that I, that I, could, I could probably get to close to what they're talking about or reference it where it be an NFPA number or whatever the case may be. And that is that. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations, folks. <clears throat> Thank you guys in the department. Keep up the good work. Okay, the next item is uh, two point three and it's a resolution recognizing and honoring the city of Frankfurt Fire Department for their um, achievement of the ISO rating, ISO two rating, and um, would entertain any 
questions or entertain a motion to adopt the resolution on in the Franklin Fire Department. I move adoption. Second. Move, move by Commissioner Bauer, second by Commissioner Hayden. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none. Ask the clerk to please call the roll. Commissioner Rhodes? Yes. Commissioner Haynes? Yes. Commissioner Bowers? Yes. Commissioner Hedden? Yes. Mayor May? Uh, yes, and again, congratulations. It takes everybody working together on that one. So Great. Give them a hand. Great recognition. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and to all the um, other organizations um, that help with that, I, I noticed on the hydrants and the testing that was maximum scores or near maximum on some of those. So. Great to have that partnership. And um, next item would be citizen comments. This is for agenda items only. Does anyone here wish to comment on any of the agenda items? Okay. Next time we have, so we have, I think, four first readings of ordinances. So the first one is is uh, 4.1 and asks it to re be read by title and summary only. Uh, this is 4.1 by title, an ordinance appropriating the revenue to be received by the city of Frankfurt for fiscal year 2014 through 2015. <coughs> and then by summary, this ordinance appropriates the revenue to be received by the city of Frankfurt for fiscal year 2014 through 2015 in accordance with the budget submitted and hereby approved. Okay. Next item is 4.2. I'm sorry. Get to discuss or anything? Well, you can if you want to. Was there a yeah. discussion on it? Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's all right. Um, I wanted, we talked a little bit about this, I think, in the work session, and so I don't know if there's any support for this or not. Um, I think one of the commissioners voiced a little bit of support. I'm, I'm concerned because if we adopt a 2.5% increase in wages, at the same time we've been talking about maybe needing $680,000 for stormwater utilities or stormwater projects or 980000 if you have extra money put in every year. Or if you have a fee, it's going to be about $1.2 So if we're talking about these kind of things, it seems to me the only, if you don't want a fee, which I'm in that camp, the only way to avoid having a fee is to look for recurring expenses and recurring revenue. And, and there is no other, there, if 70 to 71 percent of the budget is compensation costs and it's recurring you can't it's not that you can't but that's one of the places you've got to look to try to find the money to keep from having a stormwater utility fee so as a result although I I'm even nervous about any raise I realize that that you know Edmund Burke said politics is the art of compromise so I realize that does doesn't have a lot of potential support but I think we need to either have a one and a half percent raise instead of two and a half percent which would save us I think off the top of my head about two hundred thousand dollars in recurring revenue or have a one percent raise and then look in December to um, see if we can afford anything else Commissioner, if you'll make that motion, I'll second it. All right, I'll, I'll make a motion that we have a one and a half percent raise instead of a two and a half percent raise. And I would second that. Okay, so the motion would be to amend the yes, budget sir. to uh, go from a two and a half percent to a one and a half percent raise. Yes, sir. And it was seconded by Commissioner Bowers. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Commissioner, uh, can Good. I ask? You might want to. Sure. We're going to discuss, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I think that 1.5 is consistent with last year's CPI, and I think that um, we'll be lucky to be able to give a COLA at all. Some other organizations in our community are not doing any. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay. That some other organizations, state organizations, aren't getting the cost of living increase. Um, and so is there other, any other discussion from uh, commissioners? And Commissioner Roach? I guess two other things. One thing, if you all remember a year ago at this time, I asked for something, and so maybe next year we can do it. I didn't follow up well enough in February, so it kind of got, kind of went through again. I just ask that when we, when we start working on the tentative budget, that we don't introduce what the wage increase is, because it's like a runaway freight train. Nobody's going to get in front of it. 
once you've announced to all the employees that the raise is going to be two and a half percent or four or one or three, let me tell you something. You're 99 percent sure that's what it's going to be. Most people are not going to vote against it once everybody's gotten used to knowing what it was. I asked last year that we not do that, and I didn't follow up as well, and now we did it again. And so I'm not faulting anybody because I was involved, but that would be one thing. I don't think that's a, a sound way to, to do budgets because you end up making it a self-assured prophecy. And the, and the second thing real quick is this is a tough issue because we've got great people, but we're part of a group of things that's just tough. You know, last year when we talked about raises, I think it was 2.5%. I, if you remember, I was against that too. Um, the reason being is because the state and the teachers and others hadn't had a raise for six or seven years. And we raised taxes, and we paid for last year's raise out of the tax increase. That was it, pure and simple. If we hadn't had the tax increase, we wouldn't have had the raise. So I just didn't think it was right to increase our salaries and raise taxes when other people weren't getting those same things and they were having an increase in their tax rates. This year, we're doing better thanks to great management from our city manager and our great department heads and our employees. Things are starting to look a little better. But I don't think they're looking good enough to give a raise greater than the CPI when we're talking about the amount of stormwater projects that we want to do. Can I just tag on to Go you ahead. and say that um, we appear to be doing better at this time, but I think we need to do better for a little while longer. I don't want us to get all overexcited and start. I think that a lot of times, and I think Commissioner Roach in the, in the uh, special work session, you worded it so well that I can't remember exactly how you worded it. but. Uh, we have a tendency to keep spending more and more, and so if things start looking bright, we um, start spending, I guess, extravagantly is not the correct word, but I would like to see us do better for a little bit longer before we jump up to such a high increase. I think that um, our responsibility in the management of the money is to be a bit conservative, and um, because it's not my money, it's, it's everyone in Frankfurt's money, and Commissioner, I heard somebody uh, compliment Commissioner Roach the other night, and I told him tonight he's very tight with the money. And this person lives in the county, but this person said that's why he makes a really good commissioner. And we are responsible for the taxpayer money, and I think we have an excellent staff here at City Hall. Um, and I've known a lot of the staff for a lot of years. Um, and I don't want, if this passes, Commissioner Roach, I don't want it said that... Um, Everything is on the backs of the employees because the employees are part of our city, so we all carry it on the back. But I do want to um, do some increase, and I think 1.5 is what we ought to do. So. Okay. Any other discussion? Commissioner Haynes? <clears throat> well, I'd just like to comment that um, and I appreciate uh, the commissioner's comments. I do agree with the 2.5% increase, and I agree with it because we set out goals. And if because you, you don't meet anything if you don't set goals. We have a structured budget with the 2.5% in there. Uh, we can find other monies, but I don't want to find monies on personnel slots. We're doing that in other areas, and, and I think that's the way to do it. We have to continue to look at those things. Uh, I'm all for saving money, but it just at some point, uh, you know, I see numbers going down, but I want a well-driven um, and I want a person to be compensated for what they do well. If, if we were doing a lot of things very poorly, I would probably even go along with no raises. But uh, I'm, I'm not looking at a snapshot. I'm just looking at some historical information. I just, you know, I respect the opinions of all of the commissioners. But I just wanted you to know what mine was. And mine is to stick with the uh, budget that we have that's, that's balanced. And we're hoping this improves some work climate. And we're actually hoping the job the people continue to do better work and would be more efficient. Any other discussion? Okay, ready. I'll just uh, Go ahead, throw out there if it can influence a vote. You no, know, we're talking about a stormwater utility. Um, that's a big question mark, and we've had lots of discussions about that. And um, we need to find places if Commissioner, Commissioner Roach's comment the other night that we not actually implement that utility fee, that we find existing money already and that we use money from the general fund. But if we're going to do that, then we need to, and he said it really well tonight, we've got to cut back in other places. This is not cutting back. If we do this, we're still giving a raise. Um, but I find it hard to 
<laughs> consider a new utility, a tax, a stormwater utility fee, when we're given larger raises than what the CPI is. I think that we all, um, taxpayers, citizens, employees, we all have to think about down the road. And we're going to have to make that decision sometime in the next few months. So this is one way what Commissioner Roach has recommended is going to save us $200,000 this year. And it will be a continual savings as the years roll on. So, um, okay. Stop now and call for a question. Did you want to say okay. no, Commissioner Clark, please call roll. Commissioner Roach. So this is in favor of the, okay, I'm sorry. Got lost there for a second. Sorry. Yes. Commissioner Haynes. No. Commissioner Bowers. Yes. Commissioner Hedden. No. Mayor Mack. Uh, no, measure uh, that fails. Uh, so it, anyway, this 4.1's had its first reading. Well, Go ahead. Mayor, could um, I make a motion that we amend that to be a 2%? Okay, so you make a motion increase. for 2%? Mm -hmm. Okay. That requires a second. Does anyone wish to second I'll that? I'll second it. Second by Commissioner Roach. Any second discussion? And that would save us $100,000 a year. Is there any further discussion on that? No. Clerk, please call roll. Commissioner Roach? Yes. Commissioner Haynes? No. Commissioner Bowers? Yes. Commissioner Hayden? No. Mayor May? No. Uh, that item fails. Now, before we move on, for, <laughs> is there any other motions on 4.1 before we move to item 4.2? Any other discussion? All right. Thank you. Uh, next item, uh, 4.2, read by title and summary only. 4.2 by title. An ordinance amending Frankfurt Code of Ordinances, Chapter 52, Section 52.04, paragraph F, paragraph F and G, sewer service charges based on water use. Summary. This ordinance deletes the current language of Section 52.04F of the City of Frankfurt Code of Ordinances that establishes the lateral fee of $4 per month and renumbers uh, Section 52.04G. This ordinance is to take effect on July 1, 2014. Next time, 4.3, read by title and summary only, please. 4.3, an ordinance amending section 37.31 pay plan, classification, and compensation of the City of Frankfurt Code of Ordinances. Summary, this ordinance creates the position of community relations, man excuse me, community relations and grant manager so that the individual holding this position will carry out both duties related to community relations and grants obtained by the City of Frankfurt. The grade for this position is 87. Next item, 4.4, uh, read by title and summary only, please. 4.4 uh, by title, an ordinance amending Frankfurt Code of Ordinances, Chapter 111, Section 111.40, regarding alcoholic beverage licenses. Summary, the purpose of this amendment to Section 11.40 of the City of Frankfurt Code of Ordinances is to make the changes to the types of licenses required to be obtained by an individual or entity engaging in the sale of alcoholic beverages as required by state law. Uh, thank you. Those items have had their first reading. Uh, next item is 6.1, and this would be resolutions. The first one is to enter into, uh, to make an application for a Homeland Security grant. Does not require a city match, I don't think. No, does not require a city match, and this is due July 3rd. Move for approval. Moved by Commissioner Haynes. I'll second. Second by Commissioner Hedden. <coughs> further discussion? Say no, clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Roach? Yes. Commissioner Haynes? Yes. Commissioner Bowers? Yes. Commissioner Hedden? Yes. Mayor Mack? Um, yes. Items approved. Next time will be consent calendars. Turn this over to the city manager for reading consent items. Thank you, Mayor. First item 7.1 is agreement with auctioneer Joe Penn to conduct the city's June 7 surplus auction held at the Public Works garage. The fee is 8%. Item 7.2 is authorized disposal of city surplus property at the city's auction, which also will be held or will be held on June 7, 2014. Item 7.3 is approve a five-year memorandum of understanding with KSU to allow use of the city's Kentucky River boat ramp at the sewer department. There is no fee involved. Item 7.4 is renew a $148,365 sewer odor control agreement with Source Technologies for the city's west side. This is a second of a possible four one-year renewal. Item 7.5 is authorized surplus of the police department's 
nine Crown Victorias, two Ford Tauruses, one Ford Expedition, and their related equipment for a trade-in value of about $13,400, which would be credited toward the purchase of a new Explorer and Ford Taurus. Item 7.6 is authorize a two-year fire department uniform contract with Siegel's Uniforms, effective July 1, 2014. Item 7.7 .7 is replace the E911 Vesta Palace controller and phone system with a Zentron Max system using a seven-year, $77,280 annual lease. Item 7.8 is approve a contract with Revenue Re uh, Recovery Corporation for collection of about 280 EMS accounts that were incurred prior to July 1, 2013 at a rate of 15% per amount collected. Item 7.9 is authorized the mayor to sign the 2013 Division of Water Phase 2 Stormwater Annual Report for the city and Franklin County. Franklin County will also sign that agreement as well. 7.10 is to rescind uh, an award of the Transit Wash Bay um, and a reaward the contract to Meyer Midwest based on the original company's inability to meet the disadvantaged business enterprise requirement when the bid was initially submitted. Item 7.11 is a $1,410,000 contract with Smith, con Smith contractors to construct a new pump replacing the Bon Air station. Uh, it's a new pump station and about 630 feet of 12-inch force main along Country Lane. Item 7.12 is a $602,055 contract with Lane Inliner LLC to rehab about 4,100 feet of concrete sewer main along US 460 and the Thornhill Bypass. Item 7.13 is not to exceed a $137,000 professional services contract with HMB to produce design and bid documents to replace the old Lawrence Lawrenceburg Road pump station. Item 7.14 is a uh, $103,184 and 52 cent change order number one from W. Rogers Company, which includes downsizing the HVAC unit, additional wage rates, less soil boring, and additional rock boring. The revised contract amount is $7,432,184 and 52 cents. 7.15 is not to exceed a $250,000 contract with uh, Hydromax USA LLC to provide sanitary sewer evaluation survey in the form of cleaning and televising of about 150,000 feet of sewer main annually. 7.16 is a $279,477 amendment number three to a professional services agreement with O'Brien and Gear engineers to design and uh, prepare bid documents for the Holy Hills and Meadowview uh, subdivision sanitary sewers to reduce inflow and infiltration. The revised contract amount is $455,977.50. Item 7.17 is award a $3,821,990 contract for a new pump station, 1,200 feet of force main, and nearly 3,000 feet of gravity sewer main with, uh, within the Two Creek subdivision to Smith contractors. Three pump stations will be taken offline resulting from this project. Item 7.18, not to exceed $302,638 professional services agreement with Jacobs Engineering Group for contract administration, construction management, and resident review for the Two Creeks subdivision sewer project. Item 7.19 is $101,195 change order number one with Basham Construction to increase the diameter of sewer main on triplet and replace existing main on Holmes and Meager. Revised contract amount $789,695. Item 7.20, $45,000 amendment number two to HMB Professional Service Agreement for design and bidding a supervisory control and data acquisition system in conjunction with installation of an emergency generator at the sewer plant. Revised contract amount $133,500. Item 7.21 is a memorandum of understanding with Franklin County Fiscal Court to file a $16,152 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant that will be shared between the city and the county. Item 7.22 
$209,735 contract with Herrick Company to construct a vector disposal facility at the sewer plant. Item 7.23 is personnel. It's the resignation of Brian Wayman from the police department on E911 dispatch as telecator one, telecommunicator one, effective April 21st, 2014. Okay. Okay. For the uh, consent items, is there a motion to accept the consent calendar? Move to approve. Moved by Commissioner Hedden. Second. Second by Commissioner Haynes. All members who mm -hmm. signified their presence tonight mm -hmm. shall be considered to vote in the affirmative on the consent items unless they filed proper vote modification points with the city clerk. I don't believe there were any, so the consent orders are adopted. Next item would be new business. It's resolution authorizing us to the city to in apply for a CMRS, CRMS grant application. This would be for a new dispatch, uh, our CAD system, community dispatch system, in the amount of, if awarded, $150,000. Move for approval. Moved by Commissioner Haynes. Second. Second by Commissioner Hedden. Any discussion? Seeing none, clerk, please call roll. Commissioner Rhodes? Yes. Commissioner Haynes? Yes. Commissioner Bowers? Yes. Commissioner Hedden? Yes. Mayor Mayor. Uh Yes. It's adopted. Um, the next item was an announcement about <coughs> tenant merchants that it's the time of year that folks will be going door to door soliciting uh, various uh, items for sale in communities. I want to remind folks that uh, folks should have a business license that would uh, allow them to do that properly. However, would always caution folks that just because someone gets a business license with the City of Frankfurt doesn't necessarily in any way endorse those products or say that those products are worth buying or not. It's your choice. But always ask if there's a, uh, a business license. All merchants are required to carry a copy of the business license, have it on their person. When they're soliciting, any uh, employee of that company is also supposed to have a copy of that business license in their possession at all times. If you have, if you're a homeowner or live or in a residence and someone knocks on your door, rings your doorbell, and someone comes to the door and you're not sure who it is, always feel free to call our dispatch center and ask. We'll send a police officer up to check on that individual or individuals. Could you and give them that number, Mayor? It's 875-8582 uh, is dispatch number, 875-8582. It's a 24-hour answering point for city and county. Um, I don't know if there's any if other commissioners want to comment on that. Please feel free to add or... I would just reiterate okay. just to, to um, always ask for that license because um, I think, Mary, you and I have had this experience. A lot of people in our neighborhood have had this experience that when you ask for the license, they often say, oh, it's in the car, and then they go, and they never come back, and they leave the neighborhood. So you might save your uh, fellow neighbors uh, the bother if you ask. I would encourage everybody to ask right up front before you even engage any further in conversation with the individuals. Then if they don't have any leave, I would encourage you to call that number the mayor just gave you so that we can run them out of town until they get their license. That concludes our business. Since this is a special call meeting, uh, we can't add any items. But um, would I entertain a motion? I make a motion to adjourn. Motion second. by Commissioner Roach, second by Commissioner Bowers. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those favor, second by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, license. Aye. Thank you all.